Hi everyone, it's been four years since Niles has qualified for the high school football state playoffs. In fact, 2012 was the only winning season they've had in the last eight years. But this season, there is hope. The Red Dragons have a special senior class and very high expectations. Niles has 55 kids out for football this summer and 20 of those kids are seniors. They have five returning starters on defense and six on offense, including their playmakers. Senior quarterback Tyler Serbinovich right there is an early contender for our Big 22. He racked up over 2,200 total yards and 30 touchdowns last year, and all his favorite targets are back as well. Numbers two, three, and four. Senior wideouts Marlon Pearson right there, Jason Faison, and Trey Martin. So the offense should be high-powered once again. Experience will also be the strength of this squad. Five of those 20 seniors were playing as freshmen, and this is the season they've been looking forward to. Uh, we love them. You know, uh, our expectations since their sophomore year has been very high. We know they've been a class coming up. Uh, you know, they, they took some lumps coming up. You know, when you play a young group like that as much as we have, uh, you know, you just hope that, that at the end here, their senior year, they have that success that they, they've worked, that they, they've strived for. And, and again, great class. Uh, the, the city should love this class, and, and they'll bring us, uh, again, hopefully a lot of success. It would mean the world to the city because we haven't we haven't made it to the playoffs since I think 2012. That was the last time we made it. And that was when they went eight and three. And then the past few seasons we went downhill. So we're just trying to make a comeback. So here's the schedule Niles will contend with this season. Same opponents as last year. And they've got a few of those dates circled, I'm sure, because three of those teams put up 50 on the Dragons last year. Niles will play twice on Thursday nights as well. They kick off with Gerard at home and then travel to Howland in week eight. Both of those games will be live broadcast for us on Game of the Week.